Hi, I'm John Withwell. Um, I'm uh, doing this uh, uh, webinar uh, mostly for nursing students um, and especially the the online distance education nursing students. And I'm going to mainly focus on uh, using CINAHL, the nursing database, to find articles. Um, I'm going to focus real narrowly on what you need to get by for the next few weeks. Uh, let me just introduce myself again. Uh, I'm not going to show you my face too much, uh, but that's there's my face. I'm John Wiswell. Um, I'll show you another way to get this, but there's my email address. Um, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you this. This is the guide we've made for. Uh, I've made for to help you do your assignments and do nursing research. And I've asked uh, Phoebe Pollitt and the other nursing faculty who are working with the first year uh, nursing students to put this in as you learn. So look for it there. Um, um, let's see if you can get to this. Um, there are other ways to get to this, but uh, that's probably the main way you'll access it through as you learn. Uh, I'm the health sciences librarian. I'm responsible for nursing. Uh, we've got a lot of other uh, uh, competent uh, librarians and staff in the library who can help you, but um, usually I work with nursing students, so uh, uh, figure out how to get in touch with me, um, and I'll remind you that again at the end. Uh, yeah, I do. I also do consultations with students. You know, I can I can do email exchanges. I can talk to you on the phone. Uh, I don't think you're going to be coming in to see me much, but I can do little online webinars like this with just you and me. Uh, a lot of times it helps if I get a little chance to study when you bring me your really tough problem. But anyway, um, another thing that's really important on this page, uh, you might have gotten in an email, but um, we've got um, video workshops. There's one specifically, library or orientation for DE students, and I want you to look at that real carefully. I've also included links to a few other ones that uh, some of my colleagues have done. Uh, navigating the library databases and library research basics, and if you're just having trouble making sense of what we're doing, uh, those are really good. But the distance education, the library orientation for DE students is going to be really important for you know special services for for you off campus. Although I tell you, I access CINAHL and our articles. You know, journal articles all the time for off campus. So uh, everybody does that almost. Um, another thing to look for is down here information for distance education students. And I'm going to click on that. And there's my colleague Kelly McAllister, is the librarian who uh, helps distance education students. And she's helping me right now. She's a little bit invisible. That's actually her dog, not Kelly. But what's important here, uh, I want you to come back and look at this whole thing. But uh, she, here's the same video I was just pointing to on the other page. So take a look at it. We, we also have a link to other library workshops. So you might want to look at those. And let me just give you another look. Well, let me back up to my guide here and give you a quick look at the library web page. Um, you might as soon be going to send all through here. Um, let me show you that real quick. If you just go to the C list, it's in alphabetical order. You go to nursing, it's the first one on the list, I think. You go to health and medicine, it's the second or third one on the list. It's not hard to find CINAHL. If you actually just search our library catalog, catalog for CINAHL and you spell it right, it'll come up there too. Um, here's a link for distance education services. Uh, it'll get you that same page we just saw. And there's Kelly's dog again and the video I want you to watch. Uh, if you go here, there are various ways to get to my guide, but again, I think the main way to get to that is through as you learn. Um, there's a lot on here. Um, I better stop. But anyway, here's back to the guide. Um, and here is right in the middle top, CINAHL, the link to CINAHL, or CINAHL Complete is its official name, the version we have, which means it has a lot of full text in it. Uh, there's a note here that's really important for uh, when I go off campus, when I go home and look at CINAHL, or for pretty much all your work, you're going to need this. Um, when you click here, 
If you're off campus, you'll get a little box that pops up. It'll ask for your name. Just put in your last name. Don't put in your username. Like if I put in Wiswell J, it's not going to work. I need to just put in Wiswell. Okay. And then also, it's going to ask for your banner ID number. Uh, I want you to know how to. I want you to know that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you how to find it. I'm going to go. To, I'm going to go to it through AppleNet. So here's the main App State page. I go to AppleNet. I'm sure you've used this a little bit. I'm going to log in. See if I can get my password right again. I'm getting better. I just changed it a couple of days ago. And instead of going to my email, which is very exciting, I'm going to click on the self-service tab over here. And you see now self-service is lit up. Now it is. Display banner ID. If you click on that, it will bring up your banner ID. I'm not going to show you mine. But uh, it'll bring it up. You can copy it into, you know, as, as needed. But you might want to write it down because you should be using it a lot for these classes. I'm going to log out. Um, and let's look at CNAL. Um, let's see. And by the way, this guide has a lot of stuff on it. Uh, journals, these these actually work. Um, later in the semester, you'll you might be doing Pico worksheet shop worksheet or something like that. Uh, so be aware of those work. I've got a lot of stuff in this guide, but the main thing to focus on right now is Synal Synal complete, and it looks like this. Um, if you've done any work with libraries uh, in recent years, you'll probably recognize this interface. It's the same for Academic Search Complete, uh, PsycInfo. Uh, uh, we've got about 50 databases that have about the same interface. But CINAHL is uh, unique. Uh, the N in CINAHL is for nursing. The AH is for allied health. It's the cumulative index for uh, nursing and allied health literature. And it's uh, important for nursing. Um, I don't usually do a lot with this page, but you may be asked to limit your, your searches uh, to, to just peer-reviewed peer articles. I mean, you might be asked to get a peer-reviewed article from the last five years. And you could do both of those two limits on here. Click here, and I can put in, you know, maybe what's five years ago, uh, 2009, uh, August, you know, and, and it'll limit. But let's go ahead and search here. I'm going to stir, start, I'm going to put in the word nursing, but it's pretty redundant because much of the stuff, uh, maybe even half of the stuff in CINAHL is nursing. But uh, I really want to focus on my search. I'm interested in nursing theory, so I am going to put in nursing this time. I, I wouldn't always do that in CINAHL. And sometimes it's kind of redundant, you know, health. I wouldn't put the word health in CINAHL, probably. Uh, theory, I'm interested in caring theory. Uh, so, and also when you're putting in words, keep it pretty simple. You generally don't want to use natural language, although using a phrase in quotation marks can be pretty powerful. I'll talk about that later. But you really kind of want to break down what you're looking for into a few concepts and express it in a few words. Or phrases. So that's pretty simple. And I get about 2,200 results. And as I said, you know, the first few don't look too bad actually, but I'm going to use this slider. And this is unique to this set of databases, but I'm going to limit to just 2008. Uh, a lot of these databases have a little box here for peer reviewed articles only. CINAHL doesn't. But we can limit to academic journals. And I've gone from about 2,200 to about 600. You see right here, 600. And I could also do some more stuff. One thing I might want to do is go to the subject headings and just limit to caring or nursing theory. Um, let's leave that alone, but that would reduce the number uh, again. Um, most of the time, you're going to be happy to see that there's a link directly to the full text. You'll see that little red and white PDF button. 
The second one, that's not true. I'll come back to that. Third, fourth, you see that. Most of the rest I looked at when I was doing this search. You have to go a long way before you see that yellow button again. Um, the red and white PDF button should always work. The find at ASU button is no guarantee we have full text, but we've got a lot of full text. And um, so let's try it. We'll try this one and the one below. Oh, it's not working. It was working earlier. Oh, it is working. I just have to click another button. This is not the way it's supposed to work. So let me back up and do it again. Yeah, that's not the way it's supposed to work. It's supposed to link, and it did a few minutes ago, link directly into this uh, journal and right to the article. Uh, one thing to warn you about, you won't know it until it finally pops up, but this set of day, uh, journals that look like this can take a long time to load. It's gotten a lot better over the last few years, but I know uh, a year or two ago, it's taken 10 or 20 minutes sometimes for, the, for these articles to load. I apologize for that. These are really important journals, uh, so we're not going to get rid of them, but uh, you got to have a lot of patience for these. Um, you can also change this to a PDF version. A lot of times I want to save the PDF version instead of this. It's got a lot of features. I forget if these work. Uh, a lot of times you can email to yourself, which is kind of a nice way to save it. But I think I want to just go back. I'm going to close that out and go back to my results. And it was this one. What I want you to do instead of uh, going into that interface is save this. And then you can click on the button. And, and this is very reliable, you know, like 100% of the time. And so I can email my, to myself, and I'm not actually going to send it this time, but, uh, you know, I can put nursing theory article. Uh, I could send it to somebody else. Uh, a lot of times you might want to go ahead and change the APA citation format because you're going to need that ultimately anyway, and then send to yourself. I'm going to cancel. Uh, I use this, so that was this button. I use this a lot also, cite, and it'll give me uh, usually accurate, not 100% of the time, but uh, uh, APA citation formatted. So I can copy that. I have to wonder about that number right there. But that should be the correct citation. I could copy that into a document I was submitting as an assignment. A lot of times I'll put that into an email to a student. Uh, um, so that's good. And permalink, I use this. And now I can, this is a permanent link that will work from off campus, get you to this article. Uh, you can include that as part of your citation. A lot of times I send this to student also, but uh, you can use this in, a, in a, a, an assignment you're submitting to. So that's some nice features. Uh, sometimes you go from here to another article, and these things don't always work. So, uh, so I like to do it from here, maybe both places, uh, if it's something you really can't afford to lose. Uh, let's let's go down and look at the other one. A lot of these will jump into other interfaces. Let's just try one. And yeah, that was easy, and that didn't really jump out, but. Um, and then it's not everything here will be what you want. I'm not sure this is, but, uh, you know, well, I'll talk about that in a minute. Let's go to this one that also had to find a, at ASU and see what happens here. But sometimes we don't have the full text. Okay, same, uh, same set of journals. This time it's a different journal, but it's the same set, so the same interface. So that was pretty easy. That's the way it's supposed to work. It's not supposed to give me that intermediate uh, uh, page we saw. But uh, in a lot of cases, we don't have the full text. Uh, that happens. We've got a lot, but we don't have everything. We do have systems to get from other libraries. Uh, you're not going to need it for these assignments at the beginning of the first semester, uh, but you probably will. Uh, a lot, also, sometimes these will just be on the web. So I search the web, too. If I can't find, if this doesn't open up, I would take this and just do a web search on this title, and I might get lucky. I'd say about 10 to 20% of the time, the full text will be available just through the web. And uh, that's nice when uh, you don't have this button to 
to be able to do that. So um, sometimes your search you put in the first time will work. Uh, not always. Uh, let's try another one. Um, let's do diabetes and uh, type two. And uh, well, uh, let's go ahead and start with that. Um, the limit here to just 2008 to the present is still there, but it's no longer limited to just academic journals. So I, I think it's going to make me keep clicking that button each time I make a change in the results. But look, I got 21,000 results. Uh, again, this might be a good time to go down here and limit uh, major subject headings, so maybe to type two, which is really what I'm interested in. Maybe I want to look at it relationship with obesity, but maybe I'm really more interested in diet. Let's go ahead, instead of using those buttons, um, let's do prevention. Oops, got to spell it right, because CINAHL, unlike say Google, will not uh, tolerate uh, misspellings. Uh, prevention, and let me put in diet. And one thing you can do with diet, since you might, um, the researchers might use, the writers might use the word dietary or some other variation that you can do diet um, asterisk and it'll search for variations of you know varying words that start with that so I use that sometime let's go ahead and try that and yeah now I don't get 21 22,000 I'm down to almost about a thousand uh, another thing I really like to do is put in the word review uh, well, got to spell it right again. Let's try again. And what this does, it'll really cut down on my results, probably by to about 20% or 10% of what I had. Yes, yeah, so I went from about 11, 1200 to 140. Uh, reviews are not book reviews. Well, you might actually get some reviews, book reviews, but what I'm looking for are things like this. This is called a systematic review. But reviews are an attempt to look at the literature on type 2 diabetes, uh, prevention through dietary, uh, you know, through diet, and look at the entire literature and see what is known and not known to assess the, you know, the quality of the studies that were, have been done and to summarize it in a really useful way. Uh, if you get a systematic review, like you can see here with the word systematic, that means they tried to get everything on this topic. This is really good because I've got a systematic review. And it's dated 2014, so they probably completed it maybe in 2013, maybe over even into 2014. So this is going to look at every all the research that's been done in this area, which kind of looks like it's partly my topic. Uh, everything that's been uh, all the research in this area up to, you know, really recently. This is really great. So it should give me a pretty concise summary of what's known and not known. It should also have, you know, hundreds of um, citations to other articles, which I might want to follow up with. So let's just look at this. It's a 23-page article, and like a lot of scientific articles, it should have an abstract, which is a you know, paragraph or so. There's a lot in there. You probably get most of what you need just from the abstract, but it'll have an introduction. It'll talk about methods, how they how they learned what they learned, and this is a review, so it'll be a lot different, a bit different from a regular study. Results, conclusions, uh, you know, discussion. So um, anyway, there's a paragraph at the end, you know, to conclude. But um, one thing as a librarian I'm often looking for are the references. And we start with one through only 55 here, but they're probably pretty good. So um, that's a good way to find more articles, too. And that's another reason I often start my research on a topic by just putting in the word review, because you can find other articles that way without having to search for them. Uh, and you might find articles that uh, didn't you quite use the same words you did. So um, let's see. What else do I want to tell you here? Um, let's do one more search. Um, let's say I'm interested in eating disorders. Uh, having trouble typing. 
Uh, a lot of times when I have a phrase like that, I do this all the time. It's not a one word for a concept, it's two words. I put it in quotation marks. Usually the smart databases and search engines will rank higher when the words are together uh, in that order, but this will eliminate everything where the word, all the articles where the words aren't together in that order. So it makes a small but significant difference. And I'm telling the database to rank the phrase higher. Um, so it's a good practice. Uh, another thing I might want to do though is uh, bulimia. And I'm using the or, which means it's going to bring up articles that have either this or this. It doesn't have to have both. And the other term. So I've got or twice. If I just do it like this, this is fine. But I want in this case to put in the word, the parentheses, so that I can put in another concept. Like maybe I want to put in prevention. Um, maybe I want to put in uh, epidemiology. Um, maybe I want to put in the word review. So um, let's do epidemiology, which is kind of about the distribution. What percentage of the population has the problem? You know, who does it affect? So let's do that. Uh, but anyway, you really need the parentheses. Otherwise, as you remember from your elementary uh, arithmetic, your order of operations will get messed up and you'll get, you know, 200,000 results instead of 916. Uh, so be sure if you use the or to use the parentheses. One of the good things about Google is if you put the or, it knows to look at the words immediate or phrases immediately on either side. And you don't have to do that. But most of our databases do require the, um, the parentheses. Um, so anyway, I get about a thousand hits this way. The academic journals came, un came undone again, so let me limit to that again. But we're still limited by dates. Okay, this is kind of the way I want it. And, uh, huh, I think I've showed you most of what I want to show you. Uh, I'm sorry I don't have, uh, I'm not able to get your questions right now. Uh, let me go back and look. Uh, I'm going to go back to the library web page. I'm not going to talk about books and finding books or other databases right now, but uh, actually I believe this includes CINAHL, but it's only one of seven databases that will be searched here. Uh, books and media, and you see how I'm highlighting. Um, I could search on eating disorders here. Uh, we do have a delivery system to send books to you. One thing to know, though, is I've been buying a lot of electronic books for nursing and other health topics because I know there's students out there who can't come to campus. And while we have a good delivery system, that takes, you know, a few days. So uh, I've been buying electronic books. I think uh, in a lot of cases people are frustrated by them, and rightly so. But it's also very satisfying if you need a chapter on eating disorders to get that chapter immediately. So I have been buying a lot of electronic books. Uh, I am the person who buys books for uh, and other things for nursing. So if you want to contact me about that, that's great. Uh, let me just show you this. I kind of showed you uh, to get to CINAHL. You can go to the CE alphabetical list. You can go to nursing and you'll see it there. You can go to health and medicine. You'll see it there. Let's just click on nursing. So if you didn't want to use my guide that I showed you at the beginning, I'm going to show you again in a minute, and you wanted to see what other databases we had that were good for nursing, well, there's my face again. But uh, this is another way to get to PubMed, uh, CINAHL, of course, and other things. There are more down below. Um, let's go back to my guide. I actually have it bookmarked. Let me show you how to find the guide as long as I'm going back to my guide. I could just put nursing right here. I could also go down here to nursing and here are other guides that might be useful but um, I'm going to click on this one and here we are back where we started. Uh, what else do I want to show you? And again here's some more databases here so there are a lot of ways to get to them. Uh, I use Google Scholar a lot. I use PubMed, and I hope to do another uh, 
Uh, I'm going to go back first and do a better version of this on CINAHL, so I just threw this up on short notice. But I also want to do uh, one for you all on PubMed because it's really important for, for junior nursing students and for anybody in the health sciences. And one of the cool things about PubMed is it's free. It's out on the web. You might not always get the full text. Uh, CINAHL is something you'll get as long as you're affiliated with a big uh, university or some big medical centers. Uh, it's not available everywhere. Uh, again, here's my contact information. Uh, I'm hoping that y'all will look at this video, that you will play with CINAHL, and um, uh, what was the other thing I wanted you to do? Oh, and get used to this guy. Just look around this guy. And if you're still having problems uh, on your immediate assignments or down the road, uh, best thing to do is email me. Uh, I don't want, I don't expect to work with all hundred of you this next week, but I wouldn't be surprised if about twenty of you said I you know I did the searches, I'm not finding what uh, what I want. Um, yeah, so let me know. Give this a good shot um, and then contact me if you're uh, running into any frustration, uh, which certainly does happen. Um, okay. Sentinel nursing guide. Library orientation video for D students. Uh, I guess that's all, but I look forward to hearing from y'all. Again, I'm your librarian. I'm supposed to be helping y'all, so let me do it. Get in touch with me. Uh, have a good luck with your assignments.